Welcome to our Reference Design section. My name is Mark Allen, and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager for Cisco's Data Center team. In this module, we cover how implementing network-based storage virtualization enables consolidation and utilization policies in the data center. We implemented this solution within Cisco IT, so the examples I'm sharing with you are taken from a real-world deployment. In 2003, our average storage utilization was approximately 35% across two petabytes of storage. As we grew into approximately eight petabytes of storage, we were able to increase our utilization to over 70%. This enabled us to decommission a number of underutilized storage arrays and reduce future storage expenditures. So how does this work? First, Using virtual SANs, or vSANs, on the MDS-9000, separate business functional groups were able to consolidate their separate storage area networks onto individual vSANs in a single physical fabric. The second step was to consolidate all the physical storage into a common storage vSAN. Then, using inner vSAN routing, or IVR, access to the common storage pool is given to the servers for each functional group. Using these components in conjunction with each other allows the storage administrator to homogenize storage assets and also to provide tiered levels of storage. Depending on application requirements, the storage administrator can assign storage from this common pool. The users no longer are required to manage their own storage. By having this common pool, each business unit no longer requires an independent or siloed SAN. Driving up utilization through virtualization also has significant power benefits. This happens in a couple of ways. First, by reducing the amount of deployed storage and network infrastructure, previously unavailable power capacity is recaptured. Second, by achieving higher storage utilization, power is used more efficiently. Lastly, and probably most important, it allows you to set utilization policies for storage assets. An example of setting a utilization policy would be a storage administrator documenting an operative policy that stipulates any storage assets that will be deployed in the data center must achieve a certain level of utilization within a certain time frame. This is how IT can begin to take control of power and provide an incentive for high operative efficiency. Thank you for your interest on this very important topic of sustainability. Stay tuned to the Efficiency Assurance Program for new solutions as they become available.